So did you use different fillers for different areas of the Yeah, first? very much so. Okay. So here, in the lips, because you're a guy and mm -hmm. because you're sort of in the public eye a little bit more, mm -hmm. I cannot have anything that that looks and feels like Trout stiff pal. filler. Yeah. So it's got to be extremely soft. Mm. And it depends. Do you want more volume or do you want just sort of hydration? What do you? Prefer? Um, I'd like a little bit more volume, maybe. Um, I'm not going for like you know blow up doll Love Island vibes though. Can I give you that? Mm. The thing that I would say is the thing that I hate that I see mm. is you know when people have those like sausage lips where they lose the shape. Yeah, yeah. No. I quite like that. I've got a little bit of a like Cupid's bow still. So, so we, can, I, we can accentuate. I'm quite like that. Yeah, I think looking. I mean, I mean, obviously, I do look at my face, but yeah, eyes really for me are. I think yeah, that's, that's a bit of a blind spot. Like. Long pump. Long just because we didn't touch it at all last time. Yeah, I have noticed actually in my forehead I'm getting those teeny little like fine lines starting so it would be good to nip them in the bud. Sarah has done for you really quite a lot of treatment so what, she's taken a more holistic uh, mm. approach and sort of treated the areas of the face which are the first signs to show ageing and also sort of yeah. enhanced really your features. The jawline and the chin, mm -hmm. she's, as I can see it, she's also done a little bit of work for your nose. Yeah, she did it like here. Yeah, yeah but great. I think, which I, to me was like blew my mind because I just never ever think, oh, I want this bit of my nose. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, yeah, it's good. It can slim the nose, it can sort of right. make it appear a little bit straighter the Got way it. she's done it. Right. She's also done your tempor temporal volume as yes. well. I always have quite like round cheeks. And although I've kind of like shot up and slimmed down a bit, I still feel like I've got quite a bit of softness in my face. So in my mind, what would be nice would be something a little bit sharper and a bit more squared off. Um, maybe be a bit more masculine. See where I'm just measuring with the chin could do with just being very slightly more structured there. And actually the chin also comes over to one side. So she's taking quite a pan facial approach. It was like a little bit of everything basically. Yeah. yeah. I guess like to my mind I'd kind of like a little bit of sharpening up. That's what maybe that's what like every guy probably thinks, I suppose. It's typical kind of like masculinization or whatever. But yeah, I'm I don't know what you think, but I always think like these kind of areas are, are So here would be nice for you. Yeah. This is already quite wide. Cool. So a man can get away with having this dimension by zygomatic width from yeah. here to here equal to the bigonal width, which is from here to here. Got it. So you can have definitely have a bit more here to yeah. sharpen that, but yours is actually already quite nice. Right. But maybe a, a drop more. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And lips at the same time. Mm -hmm. But maybe not with a typical lip filler, maybe with something that's more hydrating. Mm -hmm. That's not going to change the shape of your lips too much. Give some very, just give some very soft rounded volume instead. I mean, how, how young are you? 27. So maybe some preventative Botox? Yeah, I, I've thought about that actually. Um, I'm, I'm getting that only for my jaw for teeth grinding and I loved it. I didn't notice a massive change cosmetically actually. I haven't had it, I didn't have it done here actually. That okay. was my dentist did the jaw yeah. stuff. Um, but yeah, Botox would be great. And does it help? Do, are you having any jaw clenching problems now? I think it's worn off. Has it? So, so we can do that for so you as well. Yeah? Yeah. That would be fab. Next mm -hmm. stage is we will ask you for some pictures. Yeah and uh, we'll use our All Singing, All Dancing in Tele Studio, Ooh. which picks up all the detail in your face. Oh, God. Um, and now, give us a big smile. This is lovely, well done. Um, I want to do some, what does that look like as well? Oh, this bit. Did you hear me? Yeah, I no, I, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm just here. Uh, yeah, no, I thought about that though. I want that. What is it, that Kybella thing or something? Very similar. I've heard of that and I... Let's see how much time we've got. I yeah, wouldn't yeah. mind doing that as well. Wow. No, I am. No hair. Creepy actually. It is creepy. For me, it's in my uh, mm. uh, shrink wrap face.
you're basically mapping out your own plan of attack. Basically, yeah. yeah. And then this way, if you, if you like it, then mm -hmm. we can always sort of reproduce it for you. Got it. Botox works in a different, slightly different way, so it's just good for me to have a record because mm -hmm. then I can add to it later. So is there a, obviously as I said, when I had it done before, it was very much just sold on the like kind of therapeutic side of it. Mm -hmm. Is there a cosmetic change that comes with Botox yeah, in the jaw? Yeah, it can slim the jawline, you see. Okay, so it does the opposite of what we're doing with a filler. Fine, got it. So in this way, what we're doing with the Botox, we're slimming the face and with a filler, we're widening it. So right. the net result is you'll probably be reasonably yeah. similar. So your lips will swell quite a lot, okay, for today. I've had it myself, and they swell and they bruise quite a lot. Mm. But two to three ta two to three days time, you'll find that the lips look much more natural. I think you like them. Like right. that? Huh? Yeah. Mm. Got the like mad scientist vibe going on now over there. So we did a full face treatment for wrinkle relaxation. We also incorporated some relaxation of the masseter muscles, which are responsible for excessive chewing activity overnight. And that hopefully will bring him, bring him some relief because he's talked about having some discomfort during sleep. So that will treat parafunction. Um, and we've also treated uh, the, wrinkle, the wrinkles between the brows, around the eyes, and the little ones above the brows. And they're only tiny because he's 27. We've also given him a hydration treatment, which is a very, very soft, soft filler. It's one of the tricks we have at TLC. It's called a lip booster, which gives very, very soft roundedness to the lips without adding too much volume. And it gives um, some very, very nicely needed hydration to the lips, especially in this weather. Um, and I think he will agree that they will look really, really natural within about a couple of days because at the moment they're still quite swollen after the treatment. We're just putting on a little bit of um, uh, matte sunblock for him as well to protect him after these injectable treatments as well. If you have a look, you don't look too red now. One thing I mentioned, didn't, didn't mention, was that we've done a bright, our latest eye brightening treatment, which isn't the eye bright, which is our other treatment at TLC. This is our eye lightening treatment, which is specifically for the blue-purple discoloration which is underneath the eyes. It's already significantly healthier looking, except for a bit of bruising, which will dissipate, but it, another treatment of that will help that, that discoloration under the eye. Initially, treatments can make people look a little bit swollen, a little bit bruised, as you can see. Essentially, this is not the final result. It will be another week or two before we see the final result, and I think Jack will be really happy. Obviously, when you come out of one of our treatments initially, expect some swelling, expect a little bit of downtime, including some bruising, but remember that this is all temporary, and it will certainly be worth the final result.